Today's lesson is all about force, and we will concentrate on the different actions that use push and pull. Before we begin, let's define action. Action refers to the process of doing something. Anything we do is an action. Now, let's recall push and pull. A push is when you move an object away from you. A pull is when you move an object towards you. In today's topic, we'll explore how push and pull are being used in our actions like stretching, twisting, squashing, and squeezing. Let's explain each action in more detail. Stretch means being made longer or wider without tearing or breaking. Here are some pictures of actions that show stretching. When you stretch an object, you pull both ends on opposite directions. When stretching during exercise, you push or straighten a certain part of your body to its full length. Twist! Twist means to form into a bent, curling, or distorted shape. These show the twisting of different materials. When you twist an object, you use pull, push, or both. Squash! Squash is to crush something with force so that it becomes flat, soft, or out of shape. These pictures show the squashing of different objects. When something is squashed, push is the force that is being used. Squeeze! Squeeze means to firmly press something soft or yielding, typically with one finger. These show the squeezing of different soft objects. When you squeeze, you push the object. Let's review! Actions using push and pull. Stretch. Twist. Squash. And squeeze. Let's read and spell. Stretch S T R E T C H 
stretch. Twist. T W I S T. Twist. Squeeze. S Q U E E Z E. Squeeze. Squash. S Q U A S E. Squash. Now that you know different actions that use push and pull, it's your turn to identify the actions shown in each picture. Let's do this! Squash! Stretch. Twist. Squash. Stretch. Twist. Squeeze. Let's read the words. Stretch. Squeeze. Squash. Twist. Good job. I hope that you learned something today. See you on our next episode.